hello everyone this in this video we will see constructor overloading in C++ so in order to define a constructor first we will create a class so let's create a simple class class 1 our, con uh, our constructor has to be public otherwise we won't be able to create object of our class and uh, what are the properties of a constructor? Constructor are special type of function. These functions don't have any written data type. So there will be function name, a special function name. And name of constructor must be same as class name. So name of our class is 1. So we need to define a function with same name as class name. So this function, if you can see there is no written data type. Same name as class name. And here we have printed uh, constructor 1 so this is constructor and when this constructor will be called whenever we will create a object of our class after creating object constructor will be called automatically so if you will see the compilation there is no error and now we will run it so if you can see here, we just created an object and constructor, this is one of the property of constructor that uh, constructor will be called automatically. Now, uh, same as function, constructor also can be defined with arguments as well. So if we define multiple constructor in a class with constraint that their argument arguments are different so if you can see in this constructor there is no argument passed here so a constructor without any argument is known as default constructor and let's pass something here so this constructor this constructor need one integer type of argument so let's print here dot constructor with one argument so these two constructors are actually different because this dis, uh, difference is coming from their arguments so this difference can be in number either the number of argument will be changed or their data type can be changed so let's define one more constructor and in this constructor we will pass single argument but float data type So you can argue that these two constructors are having same number of argument but if you can see their data type are different. So we can define any number of constructor in a class as long as their arguments are different and this difference might be in the number of argument or it can be in terms of types, data types. So when we define multiple constructor in a class with different argument either the number or their data type this concept is known as constructor overloading now the question is that when we create a object which constructor will be called so when we create a object without passing any argument default constructor will be called if we create a object by passing integer type of argument this constructor will be called or when we create object by passing a float type of argument then this constructor will be called ok so constructor overloading in constructor overloading multiple constructors, uh, constructors are defined in a single class and those constructors are different from one another in terms of arguments their arguments can be different or their data uh, type of their argument can be different Thank you very much for watching.